Hi, my name is Peter with Air Vapor Systems, and today we're going to focus on how to properly fill the C Cell M6T cartridge. Now, it's available in a 0.5 ml or a 1 ml a cartridge size. Uh, we internally refer to it as the C6 cartridge, so if for any reason you give us a call and you are looking for this cartridge, you can refer to it as the M6T or the C6 cartridge. However, it is very tricky to fill. There are a number of small details that you must pay attention to to properly fill this cartridge without any issues. So I'm going to separate this video into two different portions. The first portion we're going to identify the proper technique to fill this cartridge as well as the tools and techniques you used to cap it. Now in the second part of this video what we're going to go into is more of a troubleshooting mode where we show you some of the common mistakes that can happen, why they happen, and how to prevent them. So without any further ado, let's begin. So to begin explaining how to fill the M6T cartridge, we will first review all the parts and identify each piece of the M6T so you know how they all fit together and what order they should be put together. That's very important to note. These should be placed together in a particular order. Number two, I'm going to identify the tools that you'll need to put them together. Uh, two of these tools are a blunt tip syringe as well as an arbor press. Now this arbor press is maybe something that you have not seen or you may not have. However, it is available from Air Vapor for under $300 and it helps greatly with consistently and reliably capping these cartridges. In fact, it's recommended by the factory. Um, again, we have these arbor presses for sale, but it's highly recommended that you use an arbor press to cap these cartridges so that you can consistently cap them properly. Now, uh, to begin, let's identify the pieces here of the M6T cartridge. It actually consists of four pieces. The two main pieces are here, the cartridge body as well as the cartridge tip. Now the cartridge tip is available in two styles. You have a round or a flat mouthpiece tip available. These other two pieces that you see out here to the side, this piece here is the mouthpiece cover. It goes on after the mouthpiece has been mated to the cartridge body. And this other piece over here is the bottom thread cover for the cartridge body. This also goes on after you have mated the tip and the body together. So these pieces last, these pieces first. To begin filling the cartridge properly, you will first notice that the M6T here is a side fill cartridge, meaning that you're not gonna fill the center post in the middle although it may be tempting. What you're going to do is you're actually going to take your blunt tip needle and insert it into the side of the cartridge between the center post and the, the inner rim. Um, you're going to want to use a blunt tip needle for this because blunt tip needles are not sharp and it will prevent you from injury. Once you have your material loaded inside of your blunt tip uh, syringe, you will fully insert it all the way into the cartridge and for this syringe I'm using a 15 gauge blunt tip needle. That 15 gauge needle is somewhat wide and allows me to easily uh, fill this using thick material. Um, I will push my material into the cartridge and begin slowly raising the needle as it fills. Taping, taking proper care not to fill this past the bottom edge of the metal, top metal collar. That is the fill line for this cartridge. The bottom edge of this metal collar is really where you should fill this to and not above. The explanation for that will be later in this video. Then you're going to take the mouthpiece and place it onto the cartridge. And you won't have to press it in hard. All you need to do is place it onto the cartridge so that it seats itself partially and then you're going to take this cartridge and put it into the jig for this arbor press. Then all you'll do is take the handle for the arbor press and push the tip all the way down until it fully seats into the cartridge body. You want to make sure that this kind of bottom edge here of the tip mates fully 
to the top edge of the cartridge. Once that is done, you now have a fully uh, filled and capped cartridge, and then you're just basically gonna add the two other portions onto it, which is the mouthpiece cover, as well as the bottom thread cover to complete your cartridge. And there you have it, a full M6T C-cell cartridge. Okay, now that you have seen how to properly fill and cap the M60 cartridge, we're gonna move into the second portion of this video, where I describe to you some troubleshooting scenarios and explain the actual physics of how the M60 cartridge fits into itself so that you can see and diagnose any issues that may arise during filling. Now, the M60 cartridge has a very unique capping system. What it features is a tip that pushes down into the body and remains in place through friction. The way it creates this friction is by having a reinforced rim around the top of the cartridge body and then a tapered plastic tip at the bottom of the tip. So that when you place this tapered tip into the cartridge body and push it together, friction causes it to mate to itself and hold it in place much the same way that friction acts to keep these two plastic cups connected together. Now, if you've ever pulled two plastic cups out of the dishwasher, maybe out of your cupboard, you might notice sometimes these things can get really hard to separate. Well, this action where two plastic cups fit together and don't come apart is the exact same way that the M60 cartridge fits to itself you have a bottom cup here with a reinforced rim. This top cup has a tapered bottom to it, and as I insert the first cup into the second, you have this tapered bottom eventually widening out all the way until it meets this reinforced rim. And with just a slight press down further, friction begins to engage around the tip, holding the two together. Now, the two ways in which you can counteract that friction is by either A, overfilling this cup, or by B, getting material on the inside rim of it. Let me show you how this can occur. So as you can see on this cup, I have a fill line drawn on it. This fill line is meant to resemble the bottom edge of this metal collar, the top metal collar, around the M6T. That is the fill line for the M6T cartridge, whether it's in a 0.5 ml size or a uh, 1 ml size. The bottom of the metal collar at the top, that bottom edge, is your fill line. Do not fill past that edge or what I'm about to describe to you will occur. However, I'm going to explain it just so you can see it just a little bit better and see it in action using these two cups. Now, to represent the material um, that I'm going to use, I'm just going to have this right here. This is basically vegetable glycerin with a little bit of orange food coloring in it. I'm using it solely so that you can just see what's happening in these plastic cups. Now, I have drawn a fill line on this cup, as I would mentioned before, and that is to represent the fill line on the m 6 or the bottom edge of the top metal collar. Now, when I take my material and I pour it into this cup and I do not pour it past the fill line, uh, making sure to not overfill, what happens is I get a great seal because there's nothing preventing me uh, from or nothing preventing the cup from grabbing itself and from friction engaging around the rim and the tapered tip. And you can see because the I only filled up to the fill line, the material did not start creeping up the sides nor did it overfill. However, Let's see what happens when you do overfill. So I'm gonna take this out here, it's dripping a bit, but let's overfill this just a tad, shall we? Now this situation here is meant to uh, basically replicate what would happen if you were to fill the M6T cartridge past the bottom edge of the top collar, basically essentially overfilling it. What happens when you overfill it Let's insert this cup down again and see what happens. Hopefully you can see there that the liquid starts to rise up the sides. 
as the cup is placed into this overfilled vessel here, it displaces the oil, forcing it to go up the side. So when that happens, what you don't see is the oil starts actually pushing back and wanting to raise this cup up, right? Now, that is essentially what happens if you overfill the M6T. What will happen is the oil or the liquid that you have placed in there will begin to push back against the tip as you push the tip down, pushing the tip, which will then force the tip to pop back up on you. Now, if you really try to force the tip down, this is what's going to happen. Hopefully you can see all of this material starting to pour out the sides of the cup. What happens now is basically this, this VG juice does two things. Number one, it's providing pressure against the cup, so it's pushing the top cup out. But because I've now displaced so much oil that it's pouring out of the top, what happens is it prevents friction from engaging around the rim to hold the cups in place. Essentially what the, this juice has done is it's overflowed and it started lubricating the rim. When it lubricates the rim, there's no way that it's gonna hold. You see, it just comes right out because there's no way for friction to engage. This is what happens on the M6T cartridge when you overfill it. You either have the oil pushing back against the tip or you drive oil up the sides, thus lubricating the entire rim and preventing friction from engaging to lock down that tip. Thus, the tip pushes up and out or it easily comes out during use. In order to properly seat the M6T cartridge, you have to first ensure basically three things happen. Number one, don't overfill it because if you overfill it, this is what will happen. You're going to drive oil up the sides or you're going to set the oil uh, or liquid against the tip and it's going to push it out. Number two, try not to get, while you're filling, even if you, can av if you avoid overfilling, what you're going to want to do is avoid getting any material around the inner edge of the M6T. So what that means is when you're coming in here with your syringe, and you're filling this cartridge, what you'll want to do is when you pull out your syringe, do it cleanly. Try not to get any oil trailing into the inner rim of this cartridge or else that oil or that liquid will act as a lubricant against the rim and prevent the top from completely seating inside there and holding together. Thus the tip will pop out. And third, the most important thing, which we reviewed in our vi in previously in this video, is to use an arbor press. An arbor press will allow you to fully seat that tip all the way down, and you're going to want to make sure that the bottom edge of your uh, tip is seated fully to the top edge of the cartridge body. This is usually only uh, consistently achievable if you use an arbor press. I've heard of people with strong hands pushing them together. I think hands get tired after a while and a press like this is going to be a much more reliable way for you to seat those cartridges. There you have it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or send us an email, which will be reflected below. And you can always drop a comment on this video and we will respond as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.